guys, I'm the Little Bookberry and you have stumbled across another one of my videos. So today I will be reviewing Heartless by Marissa May. So if you watch my Simba TBR you will know that I wanted to read this book and I have. And um, Marissa May also wrote The Lunar Chronicles which I am currently trying to get my hands on but you know, when you love books, you can't spend all your money on books, even though you want to, because there's such things as rent and electricity and food. But books are probably better than those things, so I'd gladly starve for a week for the Lunar Chronicles, but unfortunately, you know, it's not the best idea. Anyway, if you don't know what this book is about, it is a sort of spin-off of Alice in Wonderland where she talks about um, the Red Queen's like backstory kind of thing, so it's kind of like an origin story in a way. You get to see the young Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat and some other wacky characters from Alice in Wonderland, which you love, but that was kind of the downfall for me because I love Alice in Wonderland so much that like, you know when a character's written in a certain way when you first read it for the first, I don't know, 20 times when you're a kid and you're obsessed with Alice in Wonderland? And then you read another book with the same character and they're just not the same. For like some odd reason they're just not the same, they're not portrayed in the same way from the words. I don't know, it just messes up my imagination when it doesn't... I know what the Cheshire Cat looks and sounds like, but... It... He doesn't sound like that in Heartless, and that's what annoyed me. <laughs> this annoyed me so much. I really, 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 really wanted to love this book. Like, seriously, I wanted to love this book. This, I wanted this to be my favourite book because, you know, Alice in Wonderland was my favourite book as a child, and, you know, still kind of is. And I think I put my expe expectations too high. And then it it just didn't meet the expectations I had for it. I was just too excited about it. And so yeah, if you ever go to read a book, don't get any hopes up for it. Just don't get excited about it. Like, do get excited about it, obviously. Just don't put your expectations so high that the book could never, ever, ever meet them. Because that's what I did. And that's what ruined this book for me. So I did enjoy it a little bit. Like, it was a nice read. It wasn't like, I felt a bit weird and a bit like I was betraying the original Alice in Wonderland from reading this, kind of, but like, I don't know, it was a nice read. It's fun, it's different, you know, it's just not, I, I just didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted it to, wanted to enjoy it and, you know, but you might love it. Because I've heard a lot of different reviews and every like loads of people have absolutely adored this book. So yes, I would recommend it, but I wouldn't recommend it if you are a die-hard fan of Alice in Wonderland. So I give this book a two stars out of five because it was an enjoyable read, but it just disappointed me so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. I, I, I don't like not liking books. It makes me sad when I don't like books, but... This one just, just, it just didn't do anything for me, you know? It just didn't do anything for me. My Wednesday video, um, I know my friend Waverly Reads is going to do a review on her channel today, so you should totally go over and check that out. Um, and my fact about myself today is, last night I got a little bit tipsy and I decided to cut my own bangs, because I used to have them, but like, it just doesn't look right. I cut them too short and I was drunk when I did it as well, so it's kind of going as a nice little fringy thing, so that's why my hair looks so different. But I kind of like it, I think. Like this is okay, but it, like if I wear them down, it, oh no. What have I done to myself? Just tip, tip for all you guys, never ever try and cut your hair when you're drunk. Thanks for watching and bye bye!